Whoa. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. a new toy here we're gonna be running on 4s and this is the the team Corelli Morocco and uh, I've never had a team Corelli before so this is gonna be exciting and just kind of a few things like I notice is I love how easy the body clips go in whether that's gonna be something to where they pop out really easy yet to, to be determined but this is gonna be my first run with the team Corelli I have the Kronos XTR uh, on order and it's been on order for a long time it's like they're super hard to get for some reason so and I've heard nothing but good things about this team Corelli system so I'm ready to try this thing out and see and we're just out here at my normal my normal running spot again it's We've had such nasty heat and wind. Today's windy, so sorry about that on the audio. So this is just gonna be bone stock and there is a lot of bigger rocks out here. Slinger. The radio that it comes with, the S2R. Uh, I've never really had one like this. The team Corelli sends out with the ready to run. Uh, feels good. Steering wheel's a little, I, I don't want to even say it's bad. It's just different than what I'm used to with my Futaba. I usually just use the same radio and pop receivers into everything, but Okay, so we're pulling to the right I don't have my GPS Steering trim We're pulling to the right, so let's take it to the left a little Get that set up before we get going too crazy. Oh yeah, now we're pretty solid. Still pulling a little to the right. We're gonna go two notches. I mean, that's pretty good for stock system 4S out of the box. don't have the best grip in the world. Lost it around that corner. I guess I don't really take it easy on things. I'm a fast, full trigger kind of guy. Let's just hit this. This looks like a good jump. Oh, well, not very much. Uh, I had the throttle pinned. Wasn't very much uh, air control right there. Whoops.
completely. Whoa. Let's see how the Morocco flies. Yeah, that flew pretty well. It hit something on the jump and little nose divey, I tried to correct it. For my liking, probably needs stiffen up those shock springs. But I mean, she flies. Could probably do a little bit of gearing change, stiffen up to some shock springs. A little bit stiffer of a oil, maybe. And it would be a lot different not on gravel, as far as handling this gravels. Oh, that's like, that's like what happens in a one-to-one -one when you like hit a mailbox, you're flying down the road and you hit a mailbox and you just spin around. I've never done that, by the way. Nice. I mean, honestly, flies pretty nice. We're hitting that little lump right there before the actual jump. Needs to have some work done to it. Whoa. Huh. Let's, uh, let's tighten up these shocks a little bit. like that. I'm hard on my vehicles. I'm I will be the first to admit that. I am very hard on my equipment. But it's more so, I think, the places that I drive, like, this isn't the best RC place. To drive, in my opinion. It's not well taken care of, maintained. A lot of big rocks. Uh, it gets muddy and people bring their one-to-ones out here try to have some fun and end up making big divots. I do love these body posts though. Like the pins that they use are really nice. They go in easy. Everything just goes on well. Now I think I could probably up the ESC punch control. I think it's a little light. I don't know what the Team Corelli, if I can use the Hobby, Link, Hobby Wing programmer. I think I can. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that airplane coming in. There's an Air Force base right here. There's a B-1 bomber coming in right there, coming in for a landing. Check that out. I think you guys can see that. If you can't, I'm sorry. Hopefully you can hear it. There he comes. 
Coming down for a landing. We're just gonna have to do some flying of our own with the Morocco here. I think they put these things on sale. Um, so I don't know if they're coming out with a newer version. This is just on 4S, so I think I'll have to get this thing out on 6S. Oh, oh, holy cow. That's what happens when you hit a rock. My goodness. I hit like a bump and then as it took off for the bottom of the ramp it hit that bump and then it clipped the top one and just started pinning the nose man this thing Oh, dang, bounced right over that two by six. Oh, you don't think this is a... rough session on a truck like this. You're wrong, this thing is taken. stand at this oh 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 dang now I gotta walk darn it He's coming again, he's practicing landing. He's practicing landing, so are we. I'd imagine on a 4S, I gotta be getting about to lipo cut off. I'm not checking temps or anything. I know it's super hot out here, but I'm just on stock gearing, so. I'm not terribly worried about it. Unless you keep running through these damn weeds. Sorry about my language. I don't want to go in these weeds. There could be snakes in here. Nobody likes snakes. We got, we got rattlesnakes around here. Oh man, those weeds just slow it down like... Need some weed pulling and some clay pack put on top of this thing. Look at that thing throwing deaths. Weeds. Oh! I thought it was gonna, the weeds were gonna slow it down more than it did.
once it has some speed going across the gravel it just flies and drives so smooth it's just hard to get oh we're drifting and losing it oh got it back make a big wide turn down there come oh lost it come back oh hit a bump puddle oh just skim right over the top of it fire hydrant Oh, 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 I hit something huge down there. Kind of lost it. Smoked something. I saw things go flying. So I guess we're on a little bit of a walk. Let's go see where this thing crashed and landed up down here. I was kind of drifting to the side of the pavement and there's a lump right here and then it turns into gravel and I think kind of popped down that. And there I went. Doesn't have the oomph to get through these weeds that wrap around things. Look at that, still running and... That sidewalk would have had a big curb. I would have side checked it. I don't know that I like these tires a whole ton, or if it's because the tires are the shock setup. So I'm just finishing up here, hitting low battery. My camera's overheating because the sun and. Uh, I'm just at low voltage, but I have nothing broken on this thing that I can tell. So looking at the after bash report, you like my shirt too? Powered by LiPo. You can get that on garageliferc.com. And if you're liking this video, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure that you let me know. All right, after action report, it appears my camera might shut off randomly because it's overheating, but everything appears on this thing other than being full of gravel. Battery stayed in through all of that. Hey guys, so as I'm going through and kind of looking at this thing after I'm done, cleaning it up a little bit with wipes, wiping everything down. And I did notice one thing that I broke and it's right here. It's the battery tray. So I guess my battery, I hit a hard enough front landing that the battery pushed forward and snapped this off. Um, it was still in the truck. Um, but other than that, I don't see a single thing wrong with this from all of the bashing that uh, just happened. And I think the thing that you guys need to think about the most <clears throat> is it's just not air and landing. It's just not jumping. But this thing, there's big rocks that you're flying and all of a sudden you smoke a big rock uh, with the bottom and rocks are flying up in the chassis. Um, I've already dumped a bunch of them out, but there's rocks all over in here. You can see underneath the ESC, there's a whole bunch of rocks in there. So they're getting in there, getting in the gears. That's just part of where I bash and how I bash. Um, so this thing, for my first experience with a uh, Corrali, uh, seems like it held up amazing. Uh, I, I gotta adjust either the wheels or the shocks or something that it just isn't quite to my liking um, and it could just be that this is meant to be more of a low profile truggy and you know I'm out there driving around with in big weeds and smoking huge rocks and not breaking anything so that actually uh, makes me a believer of Corrali and I'm even more excited now to get my uh, Kronos XTR which I think can handle it a lot more uh, than this but 
you know, maybe with the center to center brace, that might help a little bit too, but nothing broke. So I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, uh, I'll chat with you guys all soon. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, we will talk to you guys uh, very soon. The build's coming along too. Oh, check out the build. Build's right there. It's almost done. So we're going to get finish that up here in the next day or two, and then we're going to take it out and run it. So make sure you're subscribed and uh, turn on that notification bell. So when I launch that video, you guys know to come check out the new build and it's going to be freaking sweet. Peace out.